now we know. It's read like four well by right. Freedom, it's yeah, really sad. Let's go to the shelter now. Oh, it's the alarm now? Yes. Yeah. How often do you hear this? Every day like that. Sometimes finish again, finish again. City center, from for short period of time. Yeah. 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 You come, five minutes you're inside, you have to go. Go down. Oh, this is the air alarm here in Kharkiv. It's common every day now. And when people hear this, they usually go to the shelter. When you wake up, it's like alarm. It's like alarm. You yeah. start to sleep, it's alarm. Sometimes we have at night two, three, four, and have attack. Okay. See, it's a very serious situation here. You can hear how loud it is. So your dad is a woman? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. How long has he been? Since the beginning? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Since yeah. the first months uh, he was like a volunteer. Uh huh. Uh, he saved a lot of people, but after he saw something like it that uh, I can see it, I need to take a shot, take it something like it and break it. Yeah. So far so good here in Kharkiv. This is one of the most beautiful train stations I've seen here in Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine. See? They really do something out of it. So we are visiting a school in Kharkiv. Good English speaker, sir. The future of Ukraine. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. My name is Gustav. Gustav? I'm from Denmark, a very small country. <laughs> and in Denmark, we have no mountains. It's very flat, so everyone has a bicycle. Okay. <laughs> Slava Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. Very good. Can you say something in Danish? No. Who cares about that? Tak. Tak. No, I. I. No. Четыре. Три. Фразы. Merci. Thank you, Bogdan. In French. Merci. No, no. I'm not a Francis. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. So the local citizens of this area in Kharkiv, they come to take water here. And this sign says for safety reasons, make sure to boil the water also. But it's very clean, it's very drinkable. It's a great source when you don't have any water or something that you have this little place where you can get some. For, for me, it was like a sound of devil, you know, mm -hmm. that it goes from the ground. And for the next night, when I was in the hotel, I was setting my alarm for 3.50, getting up, going to the basement, boom, and wait, waiting, what? and come back to sleep. <laughs> so they have their own kumil, like in Bratislava, yeah. Ukrainian worker. What an amazing square here. Yeah. Kharkiv, super peaceful right now. Just very enjoyable, the sun is out, midday. Tony, how is Kharkiv? It's actually very nice, especially very. right now. So it's incredible how quiet it is. Some girl smoking a cigarette. Can imagine how vibrant it will be when everybody comes back sooner or later no tourists in Kharkiv right now that's for sure so guys this is the government building that was hit not long ago they put a bus saying hugs in front of it center of Kharkiv good advice right now in Kharkiv is to move fast don't stay too long in the same location it can get risky there's daily missiles here yeah. very sad the alarm goes off frequently this shop is from 1900 here in Kharkiv really old style very beautiful. And this building in front of us is the third one of the symbols of Kharkiv, which we're going to enter right now. It's called Desprom, an architectural wonder here in the east of Ukraine. So let's go inside and see what it's like. So my friend, yeah. what is the name of this place? 
This is Devsprom and we are going to the central part of it where we have Kharkiv Media Hub. Okay. We are the part of Ukraine Media Center and all right. we are coordinating work of journalists from all over the world and from, from Ukraine also other regions to help them. Here in this location there used to be regional television studio. What's the best thing about Ukraine? Everything is the best about Ukraine. And what's the worst thing? Neighbors, one one neighbor, one particular, yeah, one particular. Yeah. So this sign says we are together. We are from Kharkiv. 15-20 minutes to get warm. Travel in Kharkiv. How used to be? Kharkiv was very popular city. One game of life. Okay, guys, this is the city center here in Kharkiv. Two tanks for Ukrainian resistance. Actually, really nice buildings here. So here we have a massive park in Kharkiv. It's very few people you see in the streets. Just a few occasionally, not much going on. It was a big and bustling city, but now hardly any action. This is the hotel we stayed in. There's a lot of construction here. There was a curfew here at 11 it started. I'm from Kharkiv. What's the best thing about Ukraine? Kharkiv. Because it's my native city and it's a very beautiful, very brave Ukrainian city. Some good views in the city. Yeah, just, just go for it. Okay guys, this is our room here in Kharkiv. Two days ago there was an airstrike right next to the hotel, like 30 meters away. <laughs> 30 centimeters away. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we are on the. It's crazy. This is six dollars. This wine. Curfew starts eleven p.m. This is where we'll stay. Yeah, it's going to the bathroom. Well, actually, the Norris is happy. He's he's got a room by himself. Oh yeah. Can I, can I take, he can know, hide under yeah. the bed. Bathtub. You can also take your shelter there, maybe. Okay. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Cheers. 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 Yeah. If you notice, like when we arrived, you didn't understand this hotel or not, because the entire front is like windows exploded because of the shockwave. There was a rocket hit just by the corner, so the entire neighborhood is damaged. Basically, I don't see any guests. Their manager, he had to inform me that there was an attack and so on, right? So he was like very attentive. He probably expected us to cancel. But I thought like, no, we have to go, like, we cannot let people down, right? It would be... Like, statistically, if the rocket was so near, it probably yeah, will not come. Looks like there's only one girl working here today. Because there are no other guests, so... Is this really true? <laughs> yes. Ukrainian, but doesn't eat his potatoes. I drink vodka. Oh, okay, okay. It's raining a bit. Very quiet in the streets. At least you get some exercise at the very least. So pretty much everything has closed except for a few things. Boris, yeah. you go to Kharkiv before the war? Of course. Yeah. It's a, it's a second largest city in Ukraine. Exactly. With the biggest amount of students. So it's very, very lively. Used to be very lively. Yeah. You can see here how, how dark it is now. So the population went from what to what in Kharkiv? From around 2 million down to less than half a million probably. Yeah. Well, it's Four crazy. Times. This is the Metro Hand Kharkiv. Not a single person inside. Our group is coming here. And here. 